Now, for most of us, a bee or a wasp sting is irritating and for a short time quite painful, but people with an allergy to their poison can suffer an immediate and dangerous shock reaction. That's when getting treatment as quickly as possible can make the difference between living and dying. Dr Paul Rees is on duty when he's called out to an urgent case in a remote rural area. He's with Dr Chris Hill, an A&E hospital registrar. Radio Control has briefed the two doctors about their patient. Yeah, he's done four times with my knees in the face and he's sweating with the puffiness of the so definitely breathing, so never know. The doctors are already thinking this patient could have an anaphylactic shock. This is a sudden catastrophic allergic yeah. reaction involving the whole body. If it's what the doctors fear, they have a maximum of 20 minutes to get him the right treatment and save his life. Hiya. Got a job to breathe now. Yeah, okay. There. Hello there. How are you doing? One of the doctors. Show us your face. You've been stung by some bees, yeah? yeah? Allergic reaction to the wasp, was it? Yeah. Karen Bushnell has been watching her husband Kevin's condition deteriorate severely. Okay. It started as soon as he was stung. So, stung in the face, yeah? And what now, difficulty breathing or uh, just pain? OK. Looking at him, it looks like he's got anaphylactic shock. He looks grey, clammy, unwell. In terms of dealing with a patient outside the hospital, the key problems that are going to cause death are obstruction of the airway, problems with breathing might cause low blood oxygen levels, and in Kevin's case, uh, his circulation was very severely affected. A combination of all those three things can be fatal. Is that good, man? His body's reaction to the sting reduces the oxygen levels in his blood, so Paul asks the community responder who's just arrived to get the mask on Kevin straight away. Can you give me a bit of oxygen? Paul begins preparing an injection of adrenaline. The main treatment for anaphylaxis, as well as all the supportive care for airway, breathing and circulation, is to give adrenaline. This reverses the cellular effects of the anaphylaxis and helps the circulation to recover uh, from the state that it's in. The allergic reaction is causing fluid to leak out of his cells and he needs to go on a drip. Because of his leaky circulation, his dilated blood vessels, his blood pressure has dropped dangerously low. So that's now having effects on his other body systems. His conscious level is being affected by that. His brain's not getting enough blood or oxygen to it, and that's making him feel woozy and unwell. And left unchecked, that would drop further and then start to cause problems for vital body tissues. So brain, kidneys, heart would start getting reduced levels of oxygen and eventually all fail. Uh, it's OK. Good man. Uh, uh -huh. It's OK. Paul keeps working on calmly. The next few minutes are going to be vital. The doctors are watching Kevin's blood pressure. If it doesn't start going up, they'll have to decide on another course of action. It's incredible how strongly Kevin's reacted to being stung, and we'll be back with the emergency doctors later to see if his blood pressure has improved.